everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's try to see what are some of the popular misconceptions about DevOps. And at the same time, we will learn about the facts. Please watch this video till the end if you are an aspiring DevOps engineer or someone who is trying to transition their career into DevOps. For the purpose of video, I've listed down the popular misconceptions that I could see on from various sources, LinkedIn, YouTube, or other platforms. So firstly, I'll talk about the misconceptions. I list down the misconceptions, and then we will try to deep dive and understand the facts around it. So five major misconceptions that I've noted is as a DevOps engineer, you don't need knowledge of scripting or programming. Number two, DevOps engineers are the most highly paid engineers. Number three, DevOps, SRE, platform engineering, all of them are same. And as a DevOps engineer, you can apply for any of them. Number four, AI is going to replace DevOps, whether it can be ChatGPT or BARD or et cetera, et cetera. Number five, certifications can get you jobs in DevOps. So these are the five things that I've noted. Now I'll go through each one of them and talk about the fact. Okay, first one, scripting or programming is not required uh, for DevOps engineers. That's a total wrong statement. As a DevOps engineer, you are expected to be very good at scripting because you write scripts to reduce the manual activities. You write scripts in your CICD stages. You write scripts to monitor node health check status, probably uh, for cloud cost optimization. Many things that you do as a DevOps engineer where scripting knowledge is very, very important. And coming to programming, again, you should be able to think logically. You should be able to write uh, some API calls to get information from third party applications. You should be able to uh, read through a JSON. You should be able to understand a uh, structure of a dictionary, structure of uh, data types. So this is very important as a DevOps engineer. You might not need knowledge as good as a developer, but you should have basic understanding of programming. And when given a problem, you should be able to solve it. And scripting, you have to be really good at it. Like I told you, you write uh, scripts to automate a lot of things as part of your day-to-day -day activities. Number two, that is salaries. So DevOps engineers are the most highly paid. Uh, that is wrong. I've seen people trying to switch their career into DevOps because DevOps engineers are highly paid. Please don't do that. If you really like DevOps, understand what is DevOps. See if uh, DevOps is your cup of tea, if you're liking it. Uh, then if that is your driving factor, then definitely transition into DevOps. But if your driving factor is salary, then no, please don't do that because DevOps engineers are very good paid. I mean, they are highly paid, but they're not the most highly paid. There are definitely other areas where people are even better paid. So, you know, your driving factor should never be salaries. Uh, full stack developers, if you are a very good full stack developer, you might be paid even more than a developer. And if you are a very good DevOps engineer, uh, you know, if you are an exceptional engineer, then you might be paid more than full stack developer. So it's about your skill, but it's not about the position that DevOps engineers are the most highly paid. So again, salary should not be your driving factor. Number three uh, that I uh, initially stated is uh, SRE, DevOps and platform engineering are same. That's a complete wrong statement again. So there is a very clear difference between DevOps engineering role SRE role, platform engineering role. So understand what is DevOps, understand what is SRE, understand what is platform, what is cloud, and try to apply on that basis. So I've seen many DevOps engineers just applying for an SRE role, SRE engineers trying to apply for platform, platform engineers trying to apply for DevOps, then you are actually killing the purpose of the clear difference. Each of these roles are very clearly defined because they do different activities. Probably if you want to become an SRE engineer, understand what is SRE, learn SRE and then transition your career into SRE. Similarly, if you want to become a platform engineer, transition your career so that, I mean, learn things so that you can transition your career into platform engineering. Number four, AI can replace DevOps. So this is again a very false statement. DevOps is the last thing that AI can replace and I can argue, I can debate on this. I have very good reasons to state why DevOps is the last thing that AI can replace. The reason why I'm saying this is AI can be very successful. 
depending upon the training data sets, right? So AI is something that completely relies on the data sets using which it is trained with. And DevOps is an emerging thing. If you compare DevOps with development, if you compare DevOps with uh, QE or testing or any other tools in uh, QE, they are much more stable. There is a lot of information. They have very uh, a past history of, uh, you know, APIs, past history of um, uh, information, very good documentation. With DevOps, that's not the exactly same thing. So there are many tools in the market that are emerging. AI has limited information regarding these things. For example, you can consider about GitOps or you can consider about any new evolution in DevOps. AI does not have knowledge of it. And DevOps is not something that is very well defined as development. So there is no one way of doing DevOps. It's about improving the efficiency in whichever possible way. So for example, if I'm working in an organization, my best fit or my uh, set of tools might not work for you. Your set of tools might not work for me as a DevOps engineer. So it depends from organization to organization. It depends upon kind of application to application. So DevOps is the last thing that AI can replace and don't uh, fall into this trap that, hey, uh, DevOps is going to end, AI is going to replace DevOps and don't panic on this and try to move away from DevOps. Last thing is certifications are going to uh, get you jobs in DevOps. No, that's again a wrong statement. Certifications will help you learn things in a better way. Certifications are structured way of learning things, but just that you have a certification, nobody is going to pick you. So if you are trying to learn DevOps, yes, definitely do certifications, but make sure that you are learning things practically. In certifications, you learn things in a very sophisticated way. You learn things that are not 100% practical. So, you know, go through the tutorials, practice things. Uh, Kubernetes certifications are still very practical. But if you take any other certifications where the questions are more about uh, giving you a scenario and uh, probably asking you what is the right thing amongst these things. But unless you have practical experience, unless you have real-time projects that you are doing, then you will not be able to land into a DevOps engineering job role. So if you keep Kubernetes certifications aside, which are kind of very practical, uh, take any other certifications, you see what are the type of questions that you have in those certifications and try to take a course which talks about real-time uh, scenarios in DevOps. There is a lot of difference between both of them. The reason is that in real time, you do a lot of practical things. In real time, uh, you fix a lot of broken things. In real time, you try to build things from scratch. So practice in that way and then you can go for certifications. But if you want to do certifications, yeah, it will improve your knowledge as they are structured way of learning things. So just to repeat that uh, statement, certifications gives you better way of learning, but they will not give you jobs. So if you want to get a job and if that is your primary priority, then along with certification, do some real time courses as well, where you learn things practical way. So these are uh, the primary misconceptions or the major misconceptions that I've seen uh, circulating around uh, on different uh, forums. And uh, I thought I'll bring it to you and talk about these things. If you found this video useful, uh, definitely uh, click on the like button and share your feedback. And if you feel I've missed something, please also put that in the comment section so that I can and other people who are watching this video can learn from your experience. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.